Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to this new series video How to build up your HMI and the PLC, the scanner system for free And the key motivation I set up this series video That's because as we know it has been more than 2 years since I set up my channel Electrical Automation Hansang Following these 2 years I received a lot of feedback and recommendation And I found a lot of subscribers and viewers their background, they are student or research student or they are learning the PLC and the HMI system and set up their demo and the pilot machine using the PLC and the HMI as an initial step and a common question they ask me how can I set up the PLC and the HMI system basically with a very low cost or even for free especially for the research student they definitely need a stable, reliable and uh, easy to hands on system to build up their data acquisition or the monitor and the control system. And based on my personal working experience and the real project summary, I figure out TwinCat PLC and the Ignition HMI, those two systems will be a proper combination to set up your own PLC and HMI system for free for learning purpose and testing purpose. More important, the back of TwinCat PLC system and Ignition HMI are widely used in the industry area. So once you practice, once you learn this, it's also easy for you to gain the experience on this and practice those two systems in future in your job. Therefore, the back of TwinCat system you can use as your controller platform and the Ignition HMI you can use as your human machine interface the monitor and the data acquisition system and the reason why I call that for free that's because for the learning purpose and for the pilot machine testing purpose those system you can reactive the trial license for example TwinCat system you can active 7 days trial license and after 7 days trial lessons expire, you can reactive for other 7 days trial lessons So you can keep reactive those trial lessons Same idea for the Ignition HMI system You can active the trial lessons for 2 hours After the 2 hours trial lessons expire, you can reactive for other 2 hours Another important benefit is that to implement the PLC this control function practice the PLC programming is not necessary to purchase any hardware to implement the TwinCat PLC controller you only need your laptop your computer running as a controller you do not need to purchase any dedicated CPU or hardware to practice your programming this is very user friendly and very convenient this means you can install your PLC and HMI system as a software based control system so you do not need to purchase any hardware and regarding the runtime license you can reactive your PLC and the HMI runtime license for the learning purpose you do not need to purchase anything all right in this series video I have a nice sub topics in the next video number two topic I will discuss how can we download the TwinCat PLC software and inductive automation ignition HMI software I will go to their main website and show how can we download those software And then the third video I will introduce how can we install the TwinCat and the Ignition software And after we install the software and I will introduce how can we set up the PLC system I will briefly demonstrate how can we program very simple PLC logic to show how can we use the structure test the main programming style from backoff if you like the ladder logic style, the back of controller also support ladder logic or FBD. You can practice ladder logic, FBD, or structure test. Okay, this is the PLC. And after we set up the PLC, we are going to shift the gear to the HMI. But before we shift to the HMI, we need to set up the communication way allows the PLC can transfer the data to the HMI. So we will use the OPC UA. And the OPC UA has been a very popular communication method to exchange data between PLC and between the HMI. So I like to introduce how can we configure the OPC UA server in the TwinCat PLC side. And then the next video I will show how can we configure the OPC UA 
client side in the ignition configuration. Okay, and after we set up the OPC communication, and then I will show how can we program the ignition HMI. I will set up the HMI showing on the screen here. I will set up the typical way like a motor start, stop, and the water tank, the flow showing the analog signal going up and going down, and also show some value on your HMI. And if you try to learn more on the HMI side or try to learn from existing demo system, and at the number eight topic, I will introduce how can we download and how can we use this ignition demo project. This is a really great demo project. And number nine, I will introduce how can we use the TwinKite variable train curve in the back of system they call TwinKite measurement system. So I will introduce how can we use the measurement software to show the variable curve, especially for the research student and for the people try to build up the data acquisition system. The trained system is a very great platform to reveal the variable where the trend or curve style, right? So that's why the number nine, I will show how can we set up this train system. Till this step, all those configuration and installation well, based on the software base. But in the actual practice, you definitely need to connect some actual I.O., some digital input and output signal. For example, the temperature or pressure analog sensors or the output actuator control. So we definitely need an I.O. block, the digital input and output, and the analog input and output modules. Our computer running as a controller, we need to connect to this I.O. block. Then in the industry world, the common protocol allows a controller connect to the I.O. device. We could use the Perfinite Ethernet IP or the TwinKite protocol. So in the back of system, the common way to connect the controller to the I.O. device, we would use the EtherCAD. So in the number 10 video, I will use one real hardware. The real hardware block, I will use one EtherCAD I.O. block so I will use my computer as the controller and the connect, and I will demonstrate how can we assess this physical I.O. block and how can we read the signal and how can we control the output and control the external devices. This is the 10 topics. Basically, after these 10 videos, you could have a rough idea how can we build up your own PLC and the HMI system. You only need one or two laptops or computers for the practice, that's enough. In terms of the I.O. blocks, since backup support all those field bus protocols, so you can go to the eBay or anywhere you can purchase low-cost I.O. blocks. All right, this is this video, the brief introduction for this series video. In the next video, I will introduce how can we download TwinCat PLC software and Ignition HMI software. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.